Coming up, the Zigbee Coordinator. Setting up, the RFID module. Setting up, the keypad module. System, installation. is now operational. We are now wirelessly connected to the two modules on two separate locations. One, which is on the third floor, and another one on the ground floor. The RFID module and the keypad module. The user may now log in. Welcome to the TCCK Inventory System. This is the process in adding new inventory. The process of adding new raw materials and end products are just the same. The category, initial quantity, and critical quantity fields are enabled. Adding complete. This is the TCCK end products transaction process. When end products are ready for transaction, the user selects the item and performs the transaction on the selected item. The user then selects the transaction type and inputs the quantity. The transaction is now complete. The raw materials transaction process is just the same as the end products, as it can also be done on the GUI. But the TCCK workers also need to have their raw material transactions recorded remotely. So, this is where the keypad module comes in. The workers can perform an in or an out transaction. They just have to input the product code. Quantity. And send. The software receives and displays the transaction performed, if successful. If errors occur, the workers are prompted. But if everything goes smoothly, the keypad transaction is complete. This is the process for adding tool inventory. For tools, the category, initial quantity, and critical quantity field are disabled. But, the user can choose to tag tools.
assigning PID to tag. PID assigned. The tool is now ready for adding. Adding successful. The user now tags the tool. The deletion process. The user selects the tool to be deleted. Deletes the selected item. And removes the tag. The user may then perform a read command for verification. Since the deletion was successful, the tag is now recognized as expired.